It's a week of all things creepy and crawly, so we're going to give some delightful, frightful Halloween paper products a try. Allison Tanner designs and sells do-it-yourself patterns for all types of paper crafts, and she's here to help us today with a nice, creepy little <laughs> design for our Halloween. Nice to be here. Thank nice. You, Thanks for coming. So, you know, when you're talking about paper cutting, you know, what is it and how does that work? Well, paper cutting is an old craft. Um, I've been doing it since childhood. Um, it involves the use of an X-Acto knife and scissors. Hmm. And the supplies are readily available. They're inexpensive. You basically just need glue, your scissors, the paper pattern, X-Acto knife, and a cutting mat. So you brought in a product Jack, for us to try, so tell us what we're going to be making yes. today. Today we're making this three-dimensional uh, stand-up Halloween decoration for your table. Um, it's something that is made very quickly. We can do it in about four or five steps. And we're going to start with the use of an X-Acto knife. I'd like to teach you the technique of using the X-Acto knife. Please do. Okay. Because <laughs> so, it looks a little dangerous. <laughs> First of all, ladies, you want to hold it as if it was a pen or a pencil. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to cut out today just um, the eyes to get started on our pattern. I okay. like to use an X-Acto knife to cut the interior shapes of our designs. I then find follow up with the use of scissors. But right now we're going to use the exacto knife. So, as you would a pen or a pencil, what you want to do is press the tip of your blade into the cutting line and draw it towards yourself. Okay. Is the knife more precise just, than scissors? Uh, it can be for interior cuts, oh. Joe. And we are using a, a paper cutter board. Yes, yeah. exactly. You have <laughs> turn a, it around. I don't know what it yes, is. Right. We're so, replacing the table uh, tomorrow. So, right. <laughs> so as you're drawing that knife to yourself, then you shift left, and where the two Oops. lines intersect, what I'd like you to do is cut just slightly beyond that and draw the knife towards yourself. This is going to eliminate whiskering and allows the paper to remove itself easily without tugging. Oh. Go left again, shift left, where the two lines intersect, go slightly towards that, slightly past it, draw the knife towards yourself, shift left again. What you want to do is always make sure that you're moving freely on your cutting board. The knife is always moving freely. You're always cutting just past the intersection. And if you've done it successfully, the piece of paper will fall you're away. Missing oh. Oh. If not, you got to go back and just go to where that line intersects and cut it again. The moment okay? of truth. Okay. All right. Yes. Come on, it Linda. It should pop I out. Feel like oh, again. Do it. Oh, yay! Okay. She's got Let's it. Let's do more. So I got one. <laughs> okay. So, ladies, what we do is we continue with the use of the Exacto knife strictly on the interior. So go ahead and. Cut your other eye the way I just instructed the nose, the mouth. And Nikki has yes. the result of having cut all, all the, the interior other one pieces first. This is this pattern has two pieces. So how She's long cut. did this take? Uh, oh, the entire project might take an hour and a half to two hours to cut to finish the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you have the interiors cut with your exacto knife, uh -huh. number three, Linda has it. Number three. Mm -hmm. And what she is showing us is she has then cut the entire exterior out with her scissors. I like to cut exterior, trim away with scissors. And here again oh. are the two parts that we have trimmed. Part four, after Linda has completed her artwork, we will glue it on a large background. I have a big orange background. Take Elmer's glue, my favorite glue, and just <laughs> glue that on there. Don't feel that you have to do it uh, entirely. Some of it can be free, and uh, it looks more three-dimensional that way. Yeah. And then finally, Joey has the finished product where we have accordion folded it so and that it will stand up. So I have mountain and valley folds, and this way it's three-dimensional. And you can also yeah. cut along the top then to kind what, of Oh, line yes. It. Thanks, Bo Beth. I forgot like about it. that. What you can do, which I think adds to it, is trim away the excess with your scissors. Again, I like exterior work done with scissors. Trim it. As we would say, it's echoed. We've echoed the shape. We have then revisited the accordion fold. And it stands up. Now, of course, you can leave it, you know, this way, now, too. Now, Alison, I have to ask. You mentioned you've been doing this since you were a kid. Childhood, um, Is yes. there another, as far as exacto knives, is there a safety one for yeah. kids? Or obviously, you're not going to leave a child playing with it. No, but... you know what? Then I would recommend that the child just I mean, you can do scissor. certainly do the scissor. Yes, you're going to poke it, OK? Mm -hmm. I prefer the use of an exacto knife. It's a cleaner, do yeah. easier yeah. cut. Do it with the child, yes. Yes. you know, when you're there. Yes, yes. Well, yes. Right. Right. Sure it's yeah. a little but bit But scissors, you certainly can do it exclusively with 
scissors. It's scissors. great. It's fun. And this is a good thing. You. you can keep I the kid occupied this. for a very long time with yes. one of these projects. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. You'll be very yeah. good at it's this. It's a great family thing to do. People it love is. this to do as a family um, uh, get together. Well, family thank you event. so much, Allison. Nice and you know, if you guys here. want to find out more about any of Allison's crafts, you can visit her at papercuttingbyallison.com.